everybody. Welcome to a brief version of Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings, Oberon's Outlook on the Emotional Exchanges. And all the shaking of the camera is the cat that just jumped off of the table. So hopefully that will rectify itself. So I'm here with my Friday show, The Emotional Exchanges, where I look into relationships, love life, possibilities like that. I'm doing a two-card reading for every sign of the zodiac. I'm going to do it down and dirty, so we're just going to kind of whiz through it. You get two cards for each sign. The first card is the emotional opportunity or challenge that is coming to you this week. And then the second card is the action needed or required to move you in that direction. <clears throat> So let's start off with Aries, and it's judgment reversed. So an opportunity that is not really an opportunity, it's a challenge, is things may really change dramatically with a situation. It may mostly be about how we we feel about it, how we feel it really changes us or not, and maybe we feel... We're not really in a situation that changes us for the better. And this is in terms of emotions, relationships. So we might find that we're having a hard time dealing with somebody else in, a, in our relationship with them. And I don't know that this is a love relationship. This just might be friends or, or people that are important. But what is the action required then? And... It's temperance. Keep it chill. I think the action required is just to accept them and try to operate normally. That this is not about a challenge to you to force you for you to to try to force them to be more what you want. They are going through some big changes right now, and you may not like them or be able to appreciate them. But kind of, if you really have a relationship with them, then you have to support that. So that was the Aries. I'm going to now do the Tauruses. <clears throat> An opportunity or challenge for Taurus. It's the Seven of Cups. It's called the Seven of Flutes here. And it says, the edit. <clears throat> Your opportunity or challenge is to make a choice that maybe has been brewing for a while. And a lot of it is just really about finding your way towards what is emotionally going to make you happy. And there may be more than one situation, and they have a number of equal pulls on you, and, and you're not really sure how you're going to figure that out. But that's the opportunity and or challenge. So what is the action required? I think you have to go in there commando. It's the reversed queen of wands. You have to be the bitch. That's what it says, not me. And I think the action required is that you have to be brutally harsh and honest with yourself. These are choices you want to make. You have to really get into your own head and say, is this really what I want? Is this really good for me? Is this really going to take me somewhere? Is this going to do what I want for that challenge? All right, Gemini. What is your opportunity or challenge? Another seven. It's a seven of wands. Call it the seven of roses here. Drama. Well, typically the seven of wands may be standing for you holding the line. Emotionally speaking, this is you being the person maybe that is defending the relationship, even from the person who's trying to destroy it, the other person, possibly. So maybe you're in a no-win situation where you feel like you have to really defend this situation. This could be about something else. This could be about other emotionally charged ideas you're involved in where maybe it really is that fight or flight response that maybe you really feel you have to stand up for this thing whatever this thing is you know it's emotionally probably disturbing it may put you in a bad light in the relationship 
I don't know. I mean, is somebody talking smack on your love, you know, and you have to get in there? What is the action required? And it's the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Flutes, Fantasy Suites. The action required. <clears throat> I think you have to be your, you have to work towards your best possible manifestation. The Nine of Cups is the wish card, and so therefore it's the ultimate sense of manifestation. And this isn't saying you have to wish for the situation to, to save itself. This is really saying you have to put all of your magical wishing power into manifesting the right thing, whatever it is you really want in that situation. You have to make it all go away so that that person feels better and doesn't have to be rescued by anyone or saved by someone. Okay, so now moving on to Cancer. Cancer, what is your challenge this week? What is your opportunity? Well, you did a little better. You have judgment also, but you have it upright. Your opportunity, I think, is to move towards the choice you really want. Move towards what it is that really kind of opens you up, really kind of gives you what you want. I mean, judgment is really kind of... It's not the world, but it is really saying like, you know, something really important is being decided here. You know, something that affects the rest of your life. <clears throat> what is that opportunity or uh, what is that action required? That's another nine, but it's the nine of pentacles. It's reversed, though. This is actually pretty cool. It says blindsided, but when the Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry, it's the Nine of Swords. I forget that. When the Nine of Swords is reversed, this is kind of saying like, you have to find a way to relieve yourself of this anxiety. You have to find a way to take the things that are giving you unrest, especially when you need it the most, and resolve them. Resolve those differences. If there's really a serious question going on here about what you are choosing or what you are changing, you have to realize it's going to make it better. It's going to, you know, or you have to do the best you can to change things so that you get over that anxiety that you're experiencing there. Okay, so now we are on Leo, our fifth sign, our fire sign again. What is Leo's challenge this week? What is the opportunity? What can be gained for Leo's, emotionally speaking? Oh, it's the lovers. This too, though, represents a sense of a choice and that the lovers is really saying, emotionally speaking, you are getting a chance to decide something that will really, really, really be good. But there's, there's something hinging on that and that is, is that there's another choice that maybe is interfering with that and it's not going to be really good. It might seem that way, but it's really ultimately not going to take you where you really want to be going. What is the action required? <clears throat> the chariot. And in the Major Arcana, that's the card that follows the lovers, says the limo. The only way <clears throat> you can mount an action to, to bring this event about or to, to work with this event is to take charge to create movement, positive movement, direction, knowing what you want to do, having the morale to do it. It's really going to be important that you understand that, that in order to make the right choice, you have to be totally on your game. You have to be positive-minded. And in a sense, you have to kind of 
there's a binary quality about the chariot that some people don't always see right away. And the idea is, is that the chariot is uniting possibly disparate forces. And sometimes when we look at the lover's card, the major arcana that precedes that, there's a sense of a disparity, disparity there too. The idea that those choices we're looking at are not necessarily equal in terms of what they really will bring you. They only look equal to some degree because of how our emotional compass points towards them. So let's move on to Virgo. Challenge. It's the hanged man reverse. It says cliffhanger to be continued. The hanged man reverse. The challenge or opportunity is to realize that you've been sitting up there thinking about what you could do, what would be the ultimate goal, the better goal, and you really need to do it. You really need to come down off of that tree you're hanging on, whatever that is, and put it into action. That this is saying, don't take a delay. Do this now. Don't be hanging around. So then, what is that action required? <clears throat> and it's the Five of Pentacles. Insecure, it says. It's reversed. This is a card that nobody wins. The action required maybe is saying there's something here that needs to be just done away with, that maybe you need to find security by being more sure about what it is you're going to do. And remember, I said there's a sense of ambiguity about the hangman. You know, he's been just sort of waiting there, not wanting to be involved and take a change. And then all of a sudden, he has to. That's the opportunity or challenge. But the action required says, hold up a little bit. Maybe you need to examine a little bit more because this is a situation that probably nobody's going to win. I'm sorry, Virgo. Virgo, like some other signs, like a number of the other signs, you want things exactly your way, and it's not how it always works. So let's do Libra now. Libra, our, our next air sign. Libra, what is the challenge or opportunity? Wow, we're getting a lot of that. You have also that opportunity that a couple signs ago had, the lovers. You have the opportunity to really make the best choice possible, the choice that will really bring you the best happiness possible. What is the action required for that? And it's the Seven of Swords reversed. It says for the wrong reasons. But a lot of times when I look at the Seven of Swords, this is saying we have to unmask a deception that's going on. We have to find out who's pulling the strings, who's pushing the buttons, who's trying to do something sneaky that we're going to find out about. You're going to find out about this, and that's what it is. You need to find out what's really going on with those choices. You need to take an action because they may both seem equal, and these are emotional choices. This is about love or relationships or friendships or things that bring us joy. You need to make the right decision because maybe you don't know everything, and that says you need to figure it out. Sounds a little suspicious there, Libra. But let's move on to the Scorpios now. Scorpios, another water sign. Somehow ruled by the fiery planet Mars. Ain't love grand. So, what is your opportunity, Scorpios? And it's the world reversed. Oh, that's so like a Scorpio. The world reversed. Your opportunity is to get things almost as perfect as you probably can get them. You may not be able to get exactly what you want, but you're going to get so darn close, you're going to be happy enough with that. 
So what is the action required? And it's the Seven of Cups, the edit. And I think what that is saying is that <clears throat> this is about a choice and you need to make the right choice. But I think what it's saying is that you have to really immerse yourself in what all those other choices are. Maybe there's three, maybe there's eight, I don't know. But you have to immerse yourself in the possible choices that can bring you to the level of perfection that you will be able to expect. And of course, this is about a relationship. So this may be saying really something else is going on. You really need to get to the bottom of it and figure out emotionally what is going on. All right, moving into the final quadrant of the Zodiac, we have Sagittarius, a fire sign. What is your action or what is your challenge or opportunity? And it's the reversed Six of Wands. It says Challenge Winner, but it's the Six of Wands reversed. And I think this is saying, in some particular circumstance, <clears throat> you need to change how people are looking at you. People are not seeing you. You're not feeling like you're a winner, and you need to change that. Something has happened, Sagittarians, that makes people see you as not quite worthy. Maybe they see you as successful, but they don't understand if you did it in the right way or not, a good way. What is the action required? And it's the Ace of Pentacles. First date. This seems like a very specific situation because if I didn't know better, Sagittarius, the people, the challenge that's coming from maybe people or something seeing you as not being a winner, and then it says spend money on them, bring them into your, your business or your partnership. So I wonder if this is specific about people in Sagittarians' lives who don't feel they're in that winner's circle. You know, Sagittarians are great people. They're very prosperous, usually. They're just really successful, sun-oriented people. Somebody wants in, or else they're just going to be saying, well, you should have did this, you should have did that. I don't know. All right, Sagittarians, I'm going to move on to... Capricorn, our final earth sign. We want to know what the challenge or opportunity is for Capricorns. Go big or go home. King of Wands, executive producer. Your challenge to be the King of Wands means Capricorn, you're trying to be the most charismatic, brave, forward-moving, positive, likable person. Maybe it's in all relationships you have, or maybe it's in a specific one. But what is the, what is the action required to get you there? And it's the reverse two of cups. <clears throat> the reverse two of cups. Well, a lot of times it talks about things that don't feel harmonious and trustworthy. How do I get that <clears throat> from there? I guess I can only think, Capricorns, that this may be saying you need to make sure you're on the right side of this, that you are working in harmony, you are trying to be trustworthy, be an honest partner. You need to better yourself by maybe thinking better of your partnerships whether they're romantic couple partnerships or other kinds of partnerships. You need to be a better person, Capricorn, be warmer, more harmonious, friendlier. And with that, you can achieve that King of Wands. I think it's true. Aquarius.
Hey, Aquarius. Challenger opportunity. Ten of Swords. Rejected. Looks a little serious. Your challenge or opportunity is to not let this happen to you, to not feel that a relationship has kind of stabbed you in the back or a relationship has been doing something that will ultimately implode it between you and them. Because my feeling is, is this is something you don't want to happen, <coughs> but maybe somehow somebody is getting it to happen for you. Something is. So, what is the action required? Smile like the sun. Kisses for everyone. I know I like that heart song, Barracuda. But this is the sun. And I think this is saying that you have to be your best possible self. You have to be warm, gracious, and you have to be knowledgeable. The sun is also about bringing light and illumination into your life to maybe find out what it is that's trying to cut you off. I don't necessarily know it's a specific relationship. It probably is, but I don't think it's your primary relationship. That's what I feel. All right, so now we are going to finally move on to the Pisces. Get them done real quick, and we are out of here. I want you to leave comments for me, please. Tell me if you like this reading style. Also, tell me if you want me to bring back uh, the positive affirmations I do from the Universal Love Oracle deck. I've been doing those, and I think they're really nice, but I wanted to have a little more time to do the Zodiac reading, but let me know. Okay, Pisces, what's your challenge or opportunity? Oh, it's the moon. And, of course, it has no other name because the moon mostly stands in for the idea of romance. But romance is mysterious, and sometimes the moon stands for the things you don't know that maybe you'd like to know, or maybe you don't even know that you need to know. So what is the action required for this? Queen of Cups reversed. <clears throat> well, if you don't know who likes you, or if you need to know what's going on relationship-wise around you, it sounds to me like you have to kind of go to a little bit of an unbalanced state. You have to sort of be bold enough to, to ask certain questions or to exhibit certain behavior. And, you know, the Queen of Cups reversed can be the poster child for somebody who's having a, a sort of meltdown or whose imagination runs away with them, as they say. But maybe this is saying you need this action in order to really... Dig in deep to find out what what's going on. There's something going on in your relationships. Maybe you're about to start a new one you didn't expect, or maybe an important one is about to go away. So you need to dig in to figure that out. Queen of Cups, play the crazy game. All right. So that's what I had for you this week in my emotional exchanges, and I'm so glad you stopped in. Um, do remember, we're not doing happy hour tomorrow. We're at a live event out on the other side of the state, so we'll be driving and reading cards all day over somewhere else on the west side of Michigan. We'll see you again on Sunday at our live show. Also, Banshee's Material Matters on Monday, and then, of course, the regular week resumes and I will see you back here for the Emotional Exchanges next Friday. Take care.